Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today we're going to build an app for doctors. And yes, even a doctor can build an app on Job Form. It's so easy, it's a no code drag and drop builder. So, the idea of this app is to have several features inside of it. Some of those features include, for example, a way for your clients to book a consultation, another form for a client to fill out previous to the consultation. That way, when they arrive to the consultation, you have previous history of that form filled down. That way we know their sex, gender, their age, their height, their allergies, and several information that we might ask in that form. We would also have features like tips and our social media accounts to view so people can join the social media accounts you have as a doctor. So several features jam packed in one single app. So let's go ahead and show you how to build this app for doctors right now. Okay, this is our job form dashboard. Before we get started with building the app, the first thing we're going to need is to create our first forms. What forms are we going to need for this app? Well, remember I mentioned we're going to make a booking consultation and a form that's gonna be filled, filled out before the consultation. So let's go ahead and build this app first and then let's jump over to the app builder. So let's get started with creating a form and in this case, we're going to use a template. That way we don't use a lot of time on this video and you can get started building the app much quicker. So let's go ahead and search for a template that we might need. For example, medical. Okay, here are some of the templates that we have. And for this case, we're going to use patient medical history form. So the way you could do it first is to actually preview it, see if it's something that you might need. And obviously we need to fine tune this to our particular needs. In this case, we'll keep it just like it is. So it's asking the gender, the patient's name, patient's date, height, patient's weight, email, reasons for seeing the doctor and several other questions that we might need. So yes, let's go ahead and use this template. There we go. We have the template built out and here is the template's name. So in this case, we're going to leave it as it is, but yes, we can fine tune this by keeping or removing some of these questions. Now, in my personal opinion, I think that you should remove this, re remove these questions as required because some of them might know the, might not know the questions. So we give them the option to fill out and leave blank if they don't know some of the answers. For example, someone might not know their weight and they could just skip it. And you fill that out when you actually weigh the patient. So we go into properties and remove required. And you can do so with all of these. Some of these you will keep, for example, name, you want to keep that and gender, simple questions you might want to keep as required and some of them keep as optional. This one has several questions that are really good. For example, have you ever had, and you can add that. You can check these on. And this is all information that's gonna help us when we receive the patient know beforehand. Okay, so let's go back into our job form. And now we're going to need a way for our patients to book a consultation. So let's go into creative form. And for this one, we'll start from scratch. You can go ahead and look through the templates, but we'll create a really simple one right now. So let's give our form a name. That way we can find it later on when we build the app. And we're gonna go into elements. And in the elements, we have the appointment element. And in this element, we have several settings available. Now you can look at our previous videos to fine tune your appointment element, but you can remove add dates, lock, hours and have several features here that we can add. So if someone doesn't book at your working hours, they're not able to book it. So it helps out. But in this case, we'll keep it simple and let's get started with our app. Okay. So now we have our two forms that we're going to need. Now let's go into actually the app builder. So let's go into the top menu and we're going to go into my apps. And we're going to get started by create app. And in this case, we're going to start from scratch. Okay, there we go. Now it opened up the app builder. We're ready to build our app. Let's get started by changing this element to something more appropriate. Appropriate. <laughs> Let's choose from our images and we'll select this doctor right here. Okay, that's updated. And we'll say Dr. 
Miguel Lopez, all right? Just, you can add a description here if you'd like. Um, whatever you want to use it for, you can add a description there. Now, elements. We have several elements. This would be your landing page for the app. So when someone opens the, the app for the first time, this is what they're going to view. So we might want to use some heading, paragraph. Okay, if we, not, we need to add some information. So for example, you would use these to have some something to greet your users, okay? And some more information to, for the doctor. Now let's add some buttons right here. So let's add a few buttons, let's add these two. And before we configure our buttons, we're going to create a new page. So that means it's gonna create a new page and it's gonna add a menu option for the app. So when one, someone wants to jump to that section, it can go into the menu or select one of the bu buttons if we like. So let's add a new page and you're gonna see it's gonna create it here on the bottom. Let's add one more. And the first page is gonna be for consultation. And the next one is gonna be called, I'm gonna name it first visit. Okay, we're gonna make our patients fill out the firm form when they first visit. And this could be a really useful app. When someone comes into the doctor's office, you can see on the counter a QR code to get the app. And that way they fill out the first visit form, okay? So let's create our buttons now. Let's go into edit. And our first button is going to take us to navigate to a form, to a page, sorry. And this page is going to be called consultation. Okay, and it's gonna go to consultation. So we just connected our button to the consultation page section of this app. The next button that we're going to edit, again, this one is gonna navigate to the page for first visit. And we're gonna say first visit form. Okay, that's what we're going to call this one. And let's go ahead and shrink these two buttons so they don't take a lot of space. Okay, now they're locked in. And now let's add our forms down here. So we have this form element. Let's drag it on the consultation page. And for this one, we created our form previously. So in this case, we're gonna select consultation and that's where they're going to book for your consultation. The next section is we're gonna add a form for the first visit. And this will be the patient medical history form. So let's add that right there. And in these pages, we can add more information like images if we like to make it a little bit nicer. So let's add an image here on the top. And let's select the settings, choose an image. We'll select one of the uploaded images. Let's go ahead and select it. We have our consultation form there. And we'll add the same image for the second one. Remember, this is just for demo purposes. Um, you would have to fine tune it to your needs depending on what you're gonna use it for and how you're going to use it. So in this case, we created these three pages, okay? Let's add a new page and we'll call this one tips, okay? Let's go ahead and call this tips right here. So when someone opens up the app, they have the option to go to tips and obviously view tips. I would recommend adding some documentations here. You can add some PDFs. So for example, we have the document PDF right here. If you want to add a document there that users can download, we can add images with information. So for example, let me add an image right now. There we go, it's added there. Okay, let's upload the image. Let's go ahead and select these 12 tips. Let's add that image there. And it should upload really quickly. There we go, we have our tips there. You can add more if you like. Like I mentioned, we can upload a PDF. In this case, let's go ahead and add one right now. Okay, let's select this PDF just for testing purposes. Let's wait for that to upload. Okay, we have the PDF ready. We can go ahead and drag it to the bottom of this. And we can add more PDFs if we like and more images. Okay, let's add one more page and this is going to be meant for directions. Okay, so let's go ahead and name it. Directions. And in this case, we're going to use, for example, we have the map element. There we go, here's our map element. We can go ahead and select settings and select the latitude and longitude for this. 
We can find these if we go to Google Maps. On the link, we'll find those latitude and longitude settings so we can add them right there and you pinpoint your doctor consultation office. Okay, we can add our social media accounts. Let's go ahead and social follow. Here we go. Okay, this, those have been added and we can add our social media profiles here. Several ones to add right here. As long as you keep these blank, they won't show up. So if you don't have, for example, a Twitter account, you could just remove it and it'll update and remove the icon and the other way around. If we add an icon, um, the ad address, it'll add the icon to it. Okay, so we have four pages. We have the homepage, consultation, first visit, tips, and direction. So that's five pages for this app. Let's go ahead and preview it so you understand how it looks. Let's go ahead and preview. And we're able to grab our QR code. This QR code, you could use it to have your patient scan it or give them a, a direct link to it. So they can make the booking or fill it out, as, as we mentioned, when it's the first visit. So we have two buttons here. So we have the consultation visit, consultation and the first visit form. We also have the menu here that takes us to the other pages, including the consultation and first visit. So if we go into consultation, we have our first form, which is consultation. If we click on it, we fill it out. This is how a client is going to view, okay? So this is where we're going to be able to make an appointment. That way, if they already have the app, it's easy for them to make an appointment over and over again because they have the app on their phone. It makes it much easier. Let's go back. Let's go into our pages. Let's go into the first visit. Patient medical history. Let's fill out the form. Imagine how professional you're going to look if you have a QR code on your counter. It grabs the app and you make your clients, well, your patients fill out the form. So let's go ahead and fill it out really quickly. So let's just say Mel and the patient, which is Jorge Aguilar. August day 31st and 1983. Where is that? Here we go. The patient height in centimeters, 75 kilograms, 75. The email, reasons for seeing the doctor, um, feeling bad. Okay. Please fill out the list of drug allergies, none. And we'll just tick these on for demo purposes. Other illnesses, let's just say none. And let's fill out these exercise one to two days and I'll just randomly fill these out. Okay. And submit. Okay. It's been submitted. They can go back. That means we have the patient history already. So when the consultation starts, we already have that information and I'll show you that in jot form tables. So let me show you a little bit more here. We have the tips section. We're able to view tips and where we have a PDF. We will want to grab it there. We can update this frequently if we like because it's super easy and directions. Here we go. We have a map and the social media account. So let's head out of the preview mode and let's go see our data for the first visit. OK, so for this, we're going to go into tables. Now we're inside of tables and we have two forms in this. So there's a consultation. We haven't filled it out, not even once. So we don't have that information. If we did, we'd have submission date, source app and the appointment. OK, but let's go into the medical history form. So you as a doctor could have this open. And when someone fills it out, we're able to view this information. Or when the patient arrives, we have a clear view of the information when they start the consultation. So for example, we have obviously the sources from the app, the patient gender, patient's name, patient's birthday. Now this might not be so clear because it's super long. We can create a brand new tab and we're going to create a cards view. Let's go next. We're going to connect it to the form. And for this case, it's patient medical history form next. And we can select the data that we need. For example, we can add the submission date, patient's gender, name, patient's birth, or we can select them all if we like, and we can remove the ones that we don't need. But let's just say we select it all. Let's go ahead and create it. 
and we're able to view it in a more neat manner. Okay, so this way we can view it here and we'd have all the patients cards right here when they fill them out. So when they arrive, we already know if, when it was submitted, we know their name, we know their, their gender, we know their age, their height, their weight, whatever information that they filled out, we have it right here. And it's faster for the doctor to start the consultation because we have that data and they just need to fill out whatever wasn't filled out. So it just makes it useful. So it depends if you want to use this feature or not or create the app with that purpose or just add the appointment form. So several features inside of there. So let's go into the app again because now we're going to go into the designer settings. Okay, we have the app again. We can go into the designer right here and we have several designer settings right here. So for example, right now we have kind of a purple kind of background and color. We can customize these to different type of colors, for example, color schemes. And we have several options available. We select it and it updates. If you want to add a custom color, we can add those by changing them right here. The start color, the end color. So if you want to make a gradient look, let's wait for that to update. Now it's gradient, looks more modern. We can add an app background on the background, list background color, the font family, if you want to change it, there's several options available. And we have the app layout. If you don't like the way it looks, we could change it to something else. And we can play around with these and select the one that fits to our needs. Now, if you're ready, you like the app, how you build it, we can go into settings, make sure it's enabled. It's obviously enabled by default, but we can disable it and disable on a date. You can add continue forms later. You give them the options in the case. In this case, we'll keep it on Add home screen model, progress bar, app name and icon. If we want to update this, so that's how the icon is going to look on the phone. I would consider using a square image so it looks better and the splash screen. We can also customize that. And if you're ready, we can go ahead and publish. We can go ahead and use the link to share or we can download the QR code so we can print it and put it on our counter or wherever you want to display it. So users can scan it and get started. And we can also embed this app if you want to embed it on a website. Well, that is how you build a doctor's app on JotForm. Like I mentioned at the beginning, even a doctor can build an app on JotForm because it's a no code drag and drop builder. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.